What's up everybody, Actin Tough Gaming here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to beat Consort Radon in Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. He's one of the hardest bosses From Software has ever made, but if you made it this far, you can beat him. I'm using Bloodfiend's Blood Arm because he's susceptible to bleed, and I almost always attack with a Charged Heavy because it builds up Blood Loss faster and it does more damage. I dodge the Meteors in this video and it works pretty well, but I actually recommend jumping at the last minute because it's more reliable. For the slipping attack, wait a split second after he lands the first time because he might jump up and do it again like he just did with me. And he can punish with a charged heavy after he lands. At the end of this combo, he's going to slam his swords into the ground and do an earthquake attack. Make sure you're on the side of him and just jump and you'll avoid taking damage. I got caught in front of him and his swords hit me. At the end of this combo, hit him with a charged heavy, and boom, we get the first blood loss of the fight, and look how much damage it does. Up next, I do a better job of avoiding damage on that earthquake attack, and like I said before, you want to end up on his side, and then whenever he pulls his sword out of the ground, you want to jump to avoid damage. This is another reason this weapon's so good for this fight, it stuns him, and we go up and we get our critical hit, it inflicts blood loss, and we are now on to phase two. And this is where it gets pretty wild. But like I said to start the video, if you've made it here, you can do it. I don't know why it served me so far away from him. It's a bug that I've experienced a few times. But he usually starts off phase two with this attack. When you see it, run by him, and as soon as the explosion happens, come back. And you always have time for a light attack and sometimes a charged heavy. All of his attacks now have holy damage coming out from them, but you can still dodge this combo the exact same way you did in phase one. You still punish with one hit at the end. Now I could have hit him after dodging that jumping grab, but it's more important that I keep my health topped off. Dodging to the side avoids that charging slash attack. This is a new combo and it's not too bad. All you have to do is just dodge into his attacks and then at the end when he does the explosion, again, just dodge in. And there we get blood loss again. Now for this attack, the fake holy radons that come out barely do any damage at all, so just focus your attention on dodging the real radon that comes out at the end. I got caught there trying to take a flask, and now for the meteors, dodge them the same way you did in phase one. Again, the fake radons don't do much damage, so focus on the real one at the very end, and then if you dodge that earthquake, you can punish with an attack of your own. He's about to do the charge attack again, and this time I dodge into it before I dodge to the side, but both results were the same. I didn't take damage, so pick whichever one you want to do. Dodge into that gravity spinning attack he does, and you can punish one. Now my method for this next attack is not the best, but I don't have much invested in vigor and I've never died to it So it's gotta be worth something, right? I just try to find him in the sky and as he's coming down He's gonna shoot out these beams just spam dodge I got caught by one of them and that's why I took a ton of damage there And of course while I'm healing he follows it up with an attack that you absolutely have to be sprinting away from immediately to avoid He does a new attack next where he just uses his sword to throw this holy disc at you dodge into it And I got caught trying to punish afterwards don't do that because he almost always follows it up with a combo. I use a light attack after the jump because usually a charged heavy is okay, but if he follows it up with certain attacks, you will take damage, and I was so close to the end, I didn't want to risk it. This video is actually from my first time beating him, and I'd gotten him down this low like three or four times before, so I was so nervous and I nearly blew it. But we got the second stagger of the fight, and what a fitting way to beat this beast of a boss. But don't go anywhere because the build is coming up next. My weapon's blood feeds blood arm, and the armor, I just equipped what gave me the highest physical defense, while keeping me at a medium load. My talismans are Two-Handed Sword, Halig Drake, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and Dragon Crest Great Shield. If this video helped you out, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I'd love to hear in the comments about how you managed to overcome Consort Radon. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.